go through some things I've picked up this week. Go through the first this little wrench here. These are uh, putting caulks in the horseshoes. Picked up these uh, little drip oilers, like for mostly for hit miss engines. But this block here, that's solid brass. Paid 60 bucks. I figured just the oilers were worth that. Local classified ads came up with a, an anvil for 150 bucks. We'll put this ad up right now. And you can see it's a it's a hay button out of Brooklyn, New York. 158 pounds. Swing around here. There you can't really see it. Serial number there. Near as I can tell, it dates from 1901, but it's not 158 pounds anymore. But even though it's broke there at the hardy hole, you can see the edges are pretty good. And while we're digging it out, ask me if you'd sell the tongs. And so just got some straight bit tongs, straight bit tongs. These pickups are uh, Atha. I like my Atha blacksmith tools. These little Atha too. We'll head over here. I've got a blacksmith friend that's getting rid of all of his stuff. He's getting out of out of the craft and he's moving. So he got this vise on a stand. I'll probably put a table right here, but you can see there's right here. A place for the pipe jaw tongs and the or pipe jaws. Jaws are right there. And picked up some hammers. That's a really neat little ball peen or rounding hammer or something. I haven't really figured it out. Swedish pattern. Make some twisting wrenches out of those auto wrenches. Got 18 pairs of tongs here. Excited to get those bolt jaw. I don't see the bolt jaw tongs very often. But... Had a pretty good week last week. I've been really lucky the last couple of weeks finding blacksmith tools. But Thanks for watching.